So this past week, Coca-Cola launched two commercials that caused quite a stir amongst those in the advertising business. The first was a, com a two-minute commercial called Coming Together. In the piece, Coca-Cola tackles the ob obesity issue that has been sort of plaguing soft drink manufacturers this past year head on. Um, the, in, the commercial st shows different initiatives that Coca-Cola has taken to address the obesity concerns that consumers have with high sugar, uh, high calorie drinks such as regular Coke and other um, Coca-Cola products like Sprite, um, Mellow Yellow and so forth. The difference here was that Coke pointed out the initiatives it's taken to address obesity in America, saying that it's, you know, it knows that it's um, a large issue for American families and something that really impacts the health of, uh, of Americans in the future. Coke has addressed this by pointing out the numerous brands it has, over 180 now, that are either low in calorie or offer zero calories, as well as the different other initiatives it's taken to address uh, calorie concerns, such as posting the amount of calories that are in the beverage directly on the can and launching uh, new smaller sized cans, uh, that's about a 7.5 fluid ounce or 8, eight fluid ounce um, 90 calorie Coke can. The other commercial that was launched um, was a more upbeat 30 second piece um, that sort of exemplified the different ways you could burn the 140 calories in a can of Coke. Uh, things it says, you know, laughing out loud for 75 seconds or dancing for 10 minutes. The two pieces were very different in tone. The first, the first commercial, the longer two minute one, really focused on uh, the initiatives that Coke has, ta has taken and, and takes the ob obesity issue um, seriously. The second was a more fun piece and it's 30 seconds in length really, uh, I think, showcased that it's, that's you know, meant for more prime time viewing, something that most consumers can enjoy and doesn't really bring up the negative aspects of consuming a lot of Coke. But overall, the Cola Giant is acknowledging the fact that consumers are, are, are worried that by consuming these beverages, they are in turn gaining too much weight. Some analysts have been very critical about these commercials, pointing out that you know, Coke is really doing nothing to curb the obesity problem because the products are still available. And in fact, you know, they're calling for Coke to offer lower calorie at, low, at reduced prices. Uh, so that there's an incentive for consumers to purchase that or for Coke to change the, its formula so that it had lower calories overall and that these statements are more hypocritical than actually fully addressing the problem. But what's most interesting about these, about Coke's decision to launch these commercials is that it's staying ahead of the conversation. For the longest time now, lobbyists against Coca-Cola have been going to Congress, going to the government um, to find different ways to regulate the industry. Most notably, the New York City ban on, on large drinks by food service players uh, has been a big blow to uh, beverage manufacturers. Coke's move here is their attempt to stay ahead of that conversation, to really address it head on so that they're controlling the message as opposed to letting it happen to them. By launching these commercials, Coke is not only showing consumers the different ways that they can lower their calorie intake or the different products available to them, but really doing a good job of um, showing legislators and policymakers that they are acting responsibly and taking initiative to address the concerns that many people believe are to blame on large, uh, large soda manufacturers.